Have you ever been just flying along and all of a sudden found yourself in an unexpected attitude? Would you know how to get out of it? Well, here's a hint. You need to learn to roll. It's all about training. Most pilots will elicit a startle snatch response. They'll get startled, they'll snatch the stick back, and pull a lot of G's towards the ground. With the proper training, you can learn to recover simply by rolling out. That's why every pilot should take an upset prevention and recovery training course. Let me demonstrate the proper recovery technique for an unusual attitude. Let's say you find yourself in a weird attitude. Look at the horizon, unload the stick, roll wings level, recover to level flight. It's just that simple. But what can happen if you don't roll? What if you're like most pilots who met an unfortunate outcome and decided to pull the stick back? Well, let's think about something. Your typical Cessna 172, when flown in the normal category, has a G rating maximum of 3.8, plus 3.8. And the VNE, or velocity never exceed, on your typical Cessna 172 is 160 knots. So we're here in a high-performance aerobatic airplane. It's got a 10G rating. Its VNE is 220 knots. So let's simulate the Cessna 172. So here we are at 5,000 feet, 100 knots, simulating a Cessna 172 in a rollover accident where the pilot panics and snatches the stick hard and pulls through. Let's just see what happens. Panic, pull the stick back. I'm stalling, oh, I'm stalling. I'm losing altitude like crazy. It hit 160 knots, pulled five and a half Gs, and lost a thousand feet. And it was a terrifying experience for the untrained pilot. It's very unlikely that a pilot who's never had unusual attitude training would be willing to pull the necessary Gs to minimize the altitude loss. So let's simulate the Cessna pilot who gets rolled over from 100 knots and is afraid to pull the amount of Gs and doesn't want to pull hard enough. Roll over, I start pulling. I feel Gs, I let off. I feel Gs. I look at the airspeed indicator. I'm at 180 knots. 200 knots. Now I'm level, I've lost 1,500 feet. I'm at 3,500, started at five at 180 knots because I wouldn't pull the necessary Gs. What would you find yourself in an unexpected attitude? A few ways come to mind. It could be wake turbulence from a passing jet. It's been known to happen. And it could be flying through areas where there's wind shear or rising and falling air currents, such as in the mountains, or approaching an airport if there's severe convective activity nearby. So let's have a look at how we would fix that. You're flying along and all of a sudden you get rolled over. I look at the horizon, unload the stick, roll wings level, return to level flight. That way we minimize altitude loss to only a few hundred feet.